Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about angles in space. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about angles uh, made by two vector planes and also a line in a plane. So let's take a look here. We've got a plane and let's make another plane. So now we have two planes and you can see that if I show it in sort of a cross section, you can see that there is definitely an angle between them and this is our goal is to find this angle right here. So how do we do that? Well, if we assume that both of these vector planes were given to us in Cartesian form, then it's easy for us to identify the normal vector or the vector that's perpendicular to both of them. So that's a, that's a vector that's perpendicular to our first checkerboard plane here. And if I bring in another vector that's perpendicular to this other one, the solid one, you can see here that there's going to be a relationship between this angle here and this angle here. Well, what is that relationship? Well, let's first start making some assumptions. Let's say that the direction of this vector is going out down this way and the direction of this vector is going this way. Which means that when I take the dot product, dot product gives us the angle between two vectors that will give us theta. So theta will be cosine inverse of, well, let's we'll say that this one is n1 for normal 1, and this one's n2 for normal 2. So n1 dot n2 divide, remember it's the magnitude of our two directions multiplied together. So the magnitude of n1 times the magnitude of n2. All right, so that'll give us theta. But this is also theta. They're known as vertical angles, which means that this piece right here is a quadrilateral. And you should also know that opposite sides of a quadrilateral add up to 180. So this angle is 180. Now, there are a couple situations. This is an obtuse angle. This is an acute angle. Uh, just to guarantee that we're always going to be getting an acute angle, what we can do here is add is to take the absolute value of the numerator here because this could be negative and we just want to make it positive. So um, just remember that we've got some notation issues. The numerator here means absolute value and the denominator these are magnitude so they're not the same thing even though we're using the same notation to denote two different things. Alright so that's two planes now let's move on to a line and a plane. So let's throw in a plane, same plane. Let's throw in a line. Now what we want to do, you can sort of see that there'd be infinitely many angles. We can say this angle, that's going to be something. We're also going to get this angle. We can also get this angle. And you can see here that we can make infinitely many lines that can join with this blue direction. But the one we want is the smallest one, the most acute angle, which you can see would happen right about here. So that's the one we want. OK, so what I'll do is I will make another direction. Remember that this vector plane was given to us most likely in Cartesian form, which is easy for us to see the normal vector. Okay, so that means that this is a right angle, which means that now I have a right triangle. Now if these are going out, that means I will get this angle, theta, using the dot product. So theta will be cosine inverse of, I'll say that this one is n, for normal, and this one is D for direction. So it's N dot D divided by the magnitude of N times the magnitude of D. So that'll give us theta. Remember these are vertical, so that's also theta. In order to get this angle, because this is a right triangle, and they all right triangles add up to 180 degrees, this angle will be 90 minus theta. Remember, we also want the absolute value here. 
So what we can do is we can take and find this angle and subtract it from 90. Or we also know that cosine theta is equal to, uh, sorry, cosine 90 minus theta is equal to sine of theta. So instead of taking cosine here, I can just take sine. So my formula will be sine inverse. Either way is fine. You can take 90 minus your answer, or you could take sine inverse right from the start. And that is how you find angles between two vector planes and the angle between a vector line and a vector plane.